Are wearable fitness trackers a scam? My roommate recently roped me into a pyramid scheme by getting me to sign up for a Whoop. Whoop is a wearable health and fitness tracker that gives you a whole bunch of data on your sleep, activity, and recovery. But just after placing my order, the buyer's remorse hit me. I immediately took to the internet to find out if the thing I just ordered actually worked or if I just got scammed. Can they actually monitor your heart rate, sleep, or calories burned? Do they actually work or is this just another fitness marketing scheme? In my initial phase of buyer's remorse, I spent a lot of time looking at the research on wearable fitness trackers to decide whether or not I needed to cancel my order. First of all, are these things even accurate? When these trackers first hit the market, the heart rate monitors were pretty hit or miss. Some were better than others, but the general consensus was that they weren't all that accurate when compared to a chest strap or an EKG. But it turns out, the technology and testing has come a long way since then. In fact, today's top wearables can achieve up to 95% accuracy, although this number goes down a little bit when they get wet or have a loose strap. But for the most part, these things are actually really accurate when it comes to measuring heart rate. Okay, so at least the pyramid scheme I joined can tell me if I'm still alive or not. But heart rate by itself can actually tell you a whole lot more than that. Accurate heart rate data can figure out when you're relaxed, sleeping, working out, stressed, and more. For example, I'm not a runner, but I recently did a running experiment in a lab, and my WHOOP figured out within about five minutes that I was going for a jog. Which is pretty impressive considering I had never gone running with it before, and I hadn't given it any indication that I was specifically running instead of biking, swimming, or doing any other form of cardio. But there was probably more than heart rate involved in figuring this out. Most wearables these days have other sensors like motion sensors sensors, thermometers, and oxygen saturation monitors. Okay, so the sensors are pretty accurate, but who cares? Why does this matter? The next and arguably more important question is do fitness wearables actually translate into people being more active or able to hit their goals? Because a lot of people buy fitness trackers hoping that it will make them more active. But does this actually happen or do these things just turn into another watch for most people? A recent review on 28 individual studies on fitness trackers aimed to answer this question specifically. And the review found that almost every single study showed significant improvements in people's physical activity once they started wearing a fitness tracker. That's a really big deal. For about a hundred bucks, you can get a device that has a good chance of improving your physical health. That sounds pretty good to me. Or if you want to help me build my own layer of the pyramid, you can... <laughs> You can use my Whoop link so I never have to pay for this thing. Now, of course, the tracker's not doing any of the work. That's still on you. But I think these things can provide a good sense of accountability and friendly competition, either with yourself or with others. For example, my roommates and I all have these things, and there's a feature on the app where you can track your friends and monitor how they're doing. Features like this aim to gamify fitness and make it fun to track your progress and try to beat your own scores. They can also be a great tool for tracking and improving your sleep. And if a sleep tracker can help you improve your sleep, by even 5 or 10% consistently, I think it's worth its weight in gold. So what's the bottom line on these things? Are they worth it or not? And do I regret getting my Whoop? Overall, I think wearable fitness trackers are a great investment for anyone who's into fitness or looking to develop some healthier habits. Since I've gotten my own, I paid a lot more attention to my sleep and recovery. And although the band itself isn't doing anything directly to improve those things, it's helped to keep me accountable and track these things more objectively. Now, with all that being said, I don't think these things are necessary by any means. They can be fun to play around with and can be a great tool, but they're in no way needed to get in shape, stay healthy, or lose weight. For that, you're gonna need a solid workout program and the right steps to lose weight sustainably. So if you're looking for a workout program, head to BaselineBarbell.com to take our free quiz and figure out what the best routine is for you. And if you're looking for some practical steps to lose weight, check out this video here, and we'll see you next video.